See, say, do teaching is a method of teaching the lesson right the first time, so that mastery is the natural outcome. But first, here's a little joke before we get started. What do you get from a pampered cow? Spoiled milk. <laughs> When planning a lesson, think about how much of your lecture you would want to sit through, and then remember. That your students are literally in a state of enforced passivity throughout your presentation. I mean, let's say that your lecture lasts only twenty minutes. By the time you reach output, what you said at the beginning of the presentation is twenty minutes old, and has been overlaid with twenty minutes of additional material. With this type of teacher-centered, lecture-based learning, too much time is wasted. During the initial presentation of the lesson, first, the teacher talks too much. Second, students sit passively while teachers talk. Teachers love to hear themselves talk. In high school, eighty percent of teaching is lecture, but elementary school teachers like to hear themselves talk just as much. Studies have shown that the amount of time in an elementary school classroom dominated by a teacher talk. Exceeds seventy percent. That's just too much. This type of lecturing produces serious problems with cognitive overload and forgetting. The activities that you create using the say, see, do teaching method deals with forgetting. The more time that passes after hearing something, the more likely we are to forget it. So what's the cure? Don't let any time pass. With say, see, do teaching, the student does something with the input immediately. There is no time to forget. The simple cure for cognitive overload is to process one chunk of information before you unload the next chunk. This happens naturally as you go through a say, see, do cycle. We already know that we learn by doing, and that we learn one step at a time. Put these two notions together, and you get a simple yet powerful model for the process of skill building. A say, see, do cycle goes like this. Let me explain what to do next. Watch as I show you. Now you do it. Say, see, do teaching follows a very simple formula. Tell students what to do. Show them what to do, and then have them do it. Say, see, do. After you provide a manageable amount of input, the students immediately do something with it. Then you give the students another chunk of input, and the students do something with that. This process is repeated as the students learn by doing, one step at a time. See, say, do teaching. Packages learning in a way that allows students to chew and swallow each bite of instruction, and in doing so, it replaces cognitive overload with self-assurance. This isn't a new technique, but it's a classic because it works. All good teaching focuses on learning by doing, because the alternative is passivity. When planning a lesson. You must constantly ask yourself, "What do I want students to do with this chunk of material?" This method of instruction is similar to a lot of the coaching you might remember from sports or music lessons you took when you were a kid. First, you explain a portion of a skill, then model it, then slowly walk students through it. Our objective is performance in addition to understanding. Unless students can do something when they leave class that they couldn't do when they entered, we've probably wasted their time. The verb "do" forces us to make concepts into activities. If you want your students to explore and discover, what skills will they need, and what methodology will they employ? Say, see, do teaching is good for students. With the anxiety associated with cognitive overload and forgetting eliminated, learning becomes far more comfortable. 
Lessons are no longer tests of the student's brain power. Rather, they are activities, engaging rather than frightening. Say, see, do teaching is also good for the teacher. Teachers no longer have to work themselves to death doing matinees five times a day. Rather, they simply provide structure for the learning activity and constant monitoring and feedback to ensure that the students understand what they are doing. To sum up Say, See, Do teaching, it is not your job to work yourself to death while the students watch. It is your job to work the students to death while you watch.